Okay, welcome back, Rankers. Um, I thought I'd follow up a little bit on um, corporate marketing or uh, large business marketing online. Um, the blog's uh, getting a few more comments about the uh, the NAB interview we did a couple of weeks ago, but a couple of other things have have spun out of that. Uh, firstly, there is the um, the Naprogesic site, uh, a pampered life, I believe it's called, which women apparently just absolutely love. Not, I'm told. <laughs> um, uh, but go and have a look at the blog for the comments on that one um, from a bunch of um, bloggers who are pretty upset with Bayer Pharmaceuticals for uh, putting that site together and trying to um, position themselves as the be-all and end-all of everything for women. Um, quite a strange site. Lacks focus, in my opinion, but anyway. Um, but um, the thing is about what most large businesses don't get about search marketing is that they're used to, I guess, the interruptive form of, of advertising, uh, you know, old media, where we're, you know, reading a newspaper and the ads interrupt what we're reading. We're reading a magazine, the ads interrupt what we're reading. Watching television, ads interrupt it. Listening to the radio, ads interrupt it. Driving to work, my drive is interrupted by billboards. So that is the uh, the mentality of the uh, the old media advertising industry. It's it's about um, ambushing you and trying to convince you to um, buy a product or service or you know get you to enjoy their their brand. Where search marketing is is different is that it's about making sure you're available or you can be found when someone's actually looking for your product now. So you don't have to convince them. It, it's not about um, trying to build a community and somehow sell products to that community like the Bayer Pharmaceutical site, A Pampered Life, looks to be. Um, in case you're wondering what that naparegesic is for people overseas who don't have that uh, particular drug, it's a, uh, a painkiller. Uh, go to the site if you want to find out more. Now, um, the way that um, I think uh, these companies, well, what I think these companies should be doing first is making sure that they turn up for searches relevant to their products. So in the case of naprogesic, uh, period pain, uh, painkillers, um, whatever. They should be coming up with those. I mean, to, to build a whole site or experience around a painkiller drug for women uh, to me is a lot of money not terribly well spent. Um, so search marketing is about making sure that you can be found when people are looking for you. It's as simple as that. It's like getting the, the, best, the best shop front on High Street, if you like. That's what search marketing is about. People know you're there when they're looking for you. Um, and some of the things that, uh, that are coming out now that take search marketing to the next level is what we call uh, social networking or social network marketing. Now, you may have also heard this referred to as Web 2.0. Now, these things are great, okay? They're fantastic, don't get me wrong. Uh, but they are a long-term strategy. People often ask me, oh, we need to be on Facebook, or, or, or can you help us put together a blog? Um, these things are long-term strategies. Search marketing is about making sure you get the fundamentals right first. Get that out of the way then look at all the other things. Um, for instance, the things that, you, if you have got your search marketing right and you are looking for different now newer opportunities to, to market, go and have a look at things like uh, Facebook. And when you've got your head around that, then go and have a look at things like Twitter. In fact, I'd probably say go and have a look at Twitter before I go and have a look at um, Facebook. Twitter.com and also FriendFeed. FriendFeed is, uh, is great. Twitter and FriendFeed are a little bit like uh, standing up in a crowded room full of people and telling everybody something, whatever it is. Only problem is everybody's standing up at the same time and, and telling people everything. Um, but it does bring a sense of live community to the web, which, you know, unless you've been in uh, IRC, Internet Relay Chat, or um, very, very active forums, that really hasn't existed. So um, Internet Relay Chat has always been... A, a uh, bit of a propeller head activity, if you like, uh, unless you're on AOL. And um, uh, what Twitter and FriendFeed do is bring it into the wider realm. Now, when you combine things like Twitter and FriendFeed, 
with the uh, search engine that um, was just mentioned today, Twitter is looking at buying, which is a search engine called Surmise, S-U-M-M-I-Z-E. -E. Uh, this is a search engine that purely searches Twitter. Uh, talk about niche, right? Um, but the good thing about this search engine is that you can uh, put together a topic uh, on whatever it is, in my case, SEO, um, online marketing, that sort of stuff, and I can have the search then um, as an RSS feed. Now that means I can take my search query and put it in an RSS reader, like Google Reader or, or whatever, Mac Mail, if you're using a Mac and you're using the Mac Mail reader on that, um, whatever your RSS reader is, and then I can get updates, you know, all throughout the day on that search and I don't have to go looking for it. So I can see immediately people who I may never have even met um, talking about a particular topic that I'm interested in or people I didn't even know existed talking about an, a topic that I'm interested in. And to get that feed and get those alerts on a regular basis is just fantastic for me anyway. And if you're, if you're interested in any particular topic, hobby, whatever it is, this is a great way to find other people uh, that are interested in the same things and may have something to, to, to teach you. Um, and to me, that's what's been lacking as far as search goes. It's the experience of discovery, okay? Search doesn't allow that. Search is, is usually pretty much, I'm looking for this thing now and that's what, I'm, that's what I need to know. Whereas if I can have alerts come to me from all different sources all around the web, using these tools like Twitter and FriendFeed and Surmise and Facebook and these other web 2.0 feeds, it opens up discovery for me. That's what newspapers had, if you like, before, um, well, I, I guess they still do, but uh, let's face it, uh, I don't have many readers these days. Um, but the, the thing about newspapers is that you turn a page and you read an article that you may not have even known about. Um, because you know it, it's in the paper and it's just there. You weren't searching for it like you do uh, with search engines. Well, Surmise, Twitter, FriendFeed bring that discovery experience back if you're following a particular topic. So I've waffled on a bit too much today. Sorry about that. Show's a bit long, uh, but until next week, thanks very much for watching. And remember, if you've got any questions, just send them through. Uh, go and hit the blog at stuartmedia.biz forward slash my blog if you want to make a comment there at the blog. And, uh, or you can leave a comment at YouTube or whatever um, video site you happen to be watching right now, whether it be Howcast, Reva, Daily Motion. We're on a bunch of them. Uh, check us out and we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.